Crystal Palace at Carrow Road. In League One, the MK Dons and Southend are both away, and Colchester are at home to Barnsley. And these are the games, I hope, involving teams in League Two. We haven't got them, sorry. Good luck to them, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Next, something you probably haven't seen before. It's a sort of mix between polo and lacrosse. Surprisingly, it's called Polo Cross. <laughs> it's very spectacular, and it's coming to Suffolk this weekend. 10.30 this morning in the Suffolk County showground was busy, busy, busy. Every horse likes to look smart for the biggest event on their sporting calendar, and that means plenty of work for those who love to play the game. It was almost time for the first chucker. No wonder they were champing at the bit. First, the Grand Parade. They've travelled to Ipswich from all over the country. 15 teams and 200 horses, united by their passion for polo cross. It's lacrosse on horseback, it's rugby on horseback. Uh, as long as you like animals and you like ball sports, polo cross is the game for you. Polo cross began in Britain 70 years ago to keep horses fit during the winter. It demands skillful riders, agile animals, and an explanation of what on earth the game is all about. The point is to score goals. Only the number one can score. You get the ball to your number one as quickly as you can, who takes the ball into the goal scoring area and shoots the goal. The ball is flicked around like a red hot potato. The riders catch it with their racket in one hand while steering their horse in the other. The umpires need eagle eyes because polo cross is very competitive. You've got horses crossing lines and that. You get two, two horses, they're half ton animals hitting each other at a flat out gallop. Is uh, something that's got to give, and it's normally the person's legs or something. I personally don't think there's anything else that gives you quite such a buzz as when you can really gallop down a field, stop, spin, turn, pick up that ball, pass it to a teammate who then scores a goal. Polo Cross calls itself the king of the one horse sports. In a couple of weeks, Britain plays Zimbabwe. Until then, they'll hone their skills at the Suffolk County Showground. Ian Winter, BBC Look East, Ipswich. It does look good fun, doesn't it? It looks very difficult, if you ask me. Yeah, good. Let's get some more on... Uh...